Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome back, back to, to Quantum, Quantum Case. Case. In the last episode, <laughs> Bigfoot read his poem to Sayori, and he and, and Bigfoot and Sayori had some quality time together. Quality time together. And, uh, yeah. Now, in this episode, I think we're going to show our poem to other people, too. I guess. I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? Winky face. I'm actually saying that directly to the audience, not Sayori saying it. Oh, okay. my God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would be a way of thanking you. Oh, my God. All right, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Mm, yay! <laughs> now you read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm, I'm really bad at this. Roses are red, violets <laughs> are blue. Bigfoot, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear Sun well, if you want to read it, you can go ahead. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Oh. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, oh. making me rub the sleepy from my eye sockets. <laughs> Are you asking me to come out and play Zang Band with you? Because that's like a game from 1992 and it's like a command prompt game. <laughs> Are you trusting me to wi wish away a rainy day playing Civilization on Steam because it's on a Sumble Bundle? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I look above, the sky is blue, it's a secret, but I trust you with my worst secrets that, I'm, that, oh I, that I don't bathe properly. Sayori, please! If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, and I mean, I'm, I think that's really horrible, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what a poem. That was pretty good. Pretty, it was pretty Sayori. Sayori, this is just a guess, but did you write this this Bigfoot, why can't you just give her a compliment? God. Wait until this morning to write this? No! Just a... Oh yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty good. You can't just answer... You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. So I woke up at like 2 in the morning, popped in some Act 2 popcorn oh my God. in the microwave. <laughs> well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. That is... Don't be mean. That's yep. oh God. Just give her a compliment. I my best. Give her a compliment, Bigfoot. Be nice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice. Or how I should, how should I put it? It just, it sounds just like you. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> really? What the hell does that mean? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Ooh. Even though you were late to school. He's bad to stick. skip breakfast. That is true. I get all cranky. <laughs> Don't skip breakfast, kids. Well, I guess there's no point arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. But, <laughs> Monica. Ah, uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. Okay. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever, and it's gonna be about you, and how big your feet are, whoa, 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 and how you're whoa, Bigfoot, whoa, whoa, whoa. and how I don't like Bigfoot. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I guess I can look forward to it. Alright. Uh, I show it to Natsu, Natsu, I guess? We had some kind of cute stuff in there. Uh, dot, dot, dot. Uh, huh? Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. <clears throat> that's... <laughs> that's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. <laughs> it's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't evoke any emotion. What are you talking about? So basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes. Do you want me? To, do you want to get smacked with my tiny baby hands? I'll pass. <sighs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. <laughs> not that you like it. Well. Eagles can fly, <laughs> monkeys can climb, crickets can leap in a horizontal, horses can race and owls can seek, chitches can run, and eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Now I have to take a giant shit. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki, what's wrong with you? Also, you said eagles can fly twice. Yeah, what? Did she? Yeah, she did. She started with it and then said it again. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Oh eagles can fly, eagles can fly, eagles can fly, but why can't yeah. I? I told you that you aren't gonna like it. I like it. Liar! <laughs> Just be honest. I am. <laughs> I am. Why are you so convinced that That's I... That's me. Why are you so convinced that I want No, like why it? would you get right? <laughs> <laughs> why are you so convinced? <laughs> yeah. Well, because... 
Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. <laughs> so people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express their express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. Huh? I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like eagles can fly twice. <laughs> like in this poem. <laughs> Seeing everyone around you do a great thing, uh, do great things can be really dis uh, disheartening. Oh, I get it. Now. Well, maybe if you tried. Oh. <laughs> She's making good cupcakes. So I decided to write about it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Hmm. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. Uh, okay, sure. It helps brings out the feelings in the first line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what I meant. Uh, that's what it means to be a pro. <laughs> I'm glad you learned something. Yes. Because it's hard for you to learn things with a peanut brain. <laughs> Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. <laughs> I don't really care how old everyone is, but Natsuki, if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Uh, yeah, go, just go down the list, go to Yuri. She probably won't like it at all. <laughs> oh, it's right in my face, Yuri, come on. <laughs> Yuri, please. <laughs> Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. I forget to start peeing. <laughs> um, it's fine. Don't, don't force yourself. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I just need to put my thoughts into words. Oh, Ain't no express feeling okay. good. <laughs> bam, bam. <laughs> this is your first time on the poem, isn't it? Yeah. What do you ask? Because it sucks! <laughs> I'm just making sure. <laughs> I guess there might be a reason for it. <laughs> oh, so it's that bad? No! <laughs> Did I just raise my voice? You screamed oh, in my so ear. Sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. <laughs> Jeez. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's Fine, I, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um, <laughs> it says that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. Uh, for oh. instance, all you said was banana, <laughs> uh, sunshine, <laughs> happiness. <Hey. laughs> there was no, it wasn't There was coherent. literally no rhyming or anything. <laughs> no coherent thought. It wasn't even in haiku, even <laughs> in the least. And having been through that myself, I kind of, you know, learned to pick the, pick the up on them. <laughs> I think the most notable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other <laughs> words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. Oh, geez, what a nerd. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened, and no one will ever buy your books. <laughs> <laughs> Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Or sound like a of fool. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. Actually, you probably could blame your mother for oh. breastfeeding you, or the, oh. Oh. or the lack thereof. Oh. Your father was never around, and he... <laughs> just like... Your mother was a hamster, and your father smelt of elderberry. <laughs> yeah. There's so many different skills and techniques that go into writing, even a simple poem. I mean, you're also Bigfoot, so I mean, you know, there's that. <laughs> Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most <laughs> challenging part. <laughs> yep. Oh my god. It might take you some time, but it comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. Well, I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. <laughs> Natsuki could be a little, uh, biased, though. Uh, biased? Oh. Um, well, never mind. <laughs> I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry! Well, you talk about me plenty enough, don't you? It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. <laughs> Yeah, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Do you mind if I read your poem now? 
Please do. Yeah. <laughs> I love to share my thought process behind it afterwards. The literal opposite of what most people will give her is a goddamn voice. <laughs> That's the whole point. Yeah, I know. It's subversive. <laughs> Yuri smiles dreamly, dream, dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her, which itself is kind of funny. Yeah, other people's misfortunes are funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Oh my god. Ghosts under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Oh. Bathing. Oh. It must be this one, the last remaining sunlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future, I bathe. Calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers, I flicker back. What the hell? <laughs> I'm sorry, I have terrible handwriting. Oh, please. What? Oh, <laughs> nani? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read it. Well, I mean... I mean, after all, you do have a peanut brain. But st stop it! Stop saying that! Stop it! Uh-huh. Well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. That's a pretty. <laughs> <laughs> also, I liked the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Oh, not at all. I'm really glad you liked it! <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing things together, like, well, I guess we shared some other things together, but no. I wanted to write something a little more mild. Mild taco sauce. <laughs> something easy to digest. Oh, good. I got, I, a sense of, of stuff. I, got, I got a sensitive stomach. Are you into ghost jury? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, big butt. Really? I'm mu I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it once after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell us of a story of Peter Mitchell. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. Wow. And soon to be left with nothing. Whoa. That's a lot of more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. It's nothing. Well, it makes me happy you said that. <laughs> Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Well, like a virus? Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. And finally, Monica. Mm, Monica. Little bit of Monica. Hi, Bigfoot. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever had any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we could do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, wanna share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Don't worry. Bigfoot. I'm a terrible influence. Now Chad's like, <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Bigfoot. We're all a little bears today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we're all... That we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sarah would like. Oh. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had these sorts of things in common. Oh, uh, well, uh, we may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Well, that may be the case. But maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. They say the way she talks about you, she likes those 
big feet. <laughs> it sounds like the two of you are really care about each other's well-being. Even if she, even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you'd think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get from reading your palm. Hmm. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into it too much? <laughs> I could be. <laughs> oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. I sound like Eric. <laughs> <laughs> But in any case, Sayori's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Sad, sad. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, well, what? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure you'll end up trying different things a lot. Eh, probably not. I could t I could take a while before I feel com I could take a while before I feel comfortable with those things. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little biased toward their kinds of styles, but I'm always I'll always help you find that's what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> <laughs> it just keeps going back. <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? No. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not very good. Yeah, okay, the most popular, beautiful girl in the school. Okay. You sound very confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Oh god, there's a scroll. Oh my goodness. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction? The, spa the spackle protrudes? A noisy neighbor? An angry Bigfoot? <laughs> I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas, already scorched with a permanent copy of Meaningless Image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he on the other side was looking in. That's, that's a, what the heck? The poem about us, I feel. Because oh. we're coming into a club with no choices of our own. <laughs> no choices. It's just a world of infinite choices. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform. That's what you call it. That's what humans say, right? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on timing between words and lines. And before and out loud, it can really it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? <laughs> it just sounds like a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. Oh my god. Oh, here we go. It's been influencing my poems a bit. Uh, 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 <laughs> yeah, you gave him the easy words. <laughs> hip hop, hip hop, the bottom is elephant. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because I literally don't know you. <laughs> because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the d of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a special point, specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. That's not a bad tip. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. That is very good for artists, too. <laughs> so just move your hand and go with the flow. Go with the flaw. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. <laughs> whoa, that was a deep voice right there. <laughs> Go with the whoa, 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 whoa. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end the episode here. Oof. We're lucky we were able to get Bigfoot to share his poem with everybody. Share with everybody. And we have to see how everyone else's poems are and see them as characters mm-hmm. and people. And it was a, it was a, it was a long day. But... Empty classroom. <laughs> yeah. So if you like the video, make sure you click the like button. Mm-hmm. If you really enjoy us, make sure you subscribe. Ring the bell to stay updated on all future content. If you like Doki Doki literature and what's been going on so far, make sure you leave a comment down below and share us across social media because that really helps us a lot. <laughs> and we'll see you, you guys, guys in the, the next, next episode. episode. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.